the, the, the legacies of uh, uh, Wale Shonkai is in play at this point in time. Looking at this conversation he had and he spoke against the obedient family, people are just saying that um, he is rubbing his legacies in the mud. And there's another conversation about uh, his achievements has been brought to question. So guys, we all know that Wale Shoinka went too far to start criticizing Peter Obi. And I tell you, that has not ended well with him. So guys, the legacies and the achievements of Wale Shoinka have been called to questioning after he brought himself out. Nigerians have even gone further to compare him with, you know, the late Chino Achebe. Many people are giving their opinion between these two top writers. I just want you to take your time and listen to this argument on Wole Shoinka versus Chino Achebe. Just because Wole Shoinka threw himself on the mud and now Nigerians are really dragging him. Hello. My name is Ifesa Lako, and I'm making this video uh, in direct response to what uh, Professor Wale Shoinka said about uh, His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi, uh, hoping that he shouldn't vie for presidency come uh, 2027. And his reason being that the obedient lacks um, good conduct that we, we, which I am one of them, we the obedient, we, we, don't, we, we don't conduct ourselves properly. And, you know, to start with, sir, what you said doesn't make any sense to start with. Because the obedience are not literally going to run government if Peter will be, when Peter will be becomes president. Um, but let's even assume that it is about the followers, because that's what you kept on uh, hammering on. The followers of Peter will be, uh, they lack good conduct, they, they are rude, they are fascist, whatever you want to call us, right? But the man, the man that you are supporting, the people that are supporting him, they are killers, they are murderers, they are drug dealers, they are thugs everywhere. They are literally, they are constituting daily nuisance across the country. The person you are supporting. But you have the, you know, because, apparently because you are a noble lawyer. See, Esa, Adaman Toleni, sir. Let me speak to you in Yoruba, in the language you understand most. Adaman Toleni, Adbatini Otole, Professor Wale Shenka, and Daleru, and Daleru. And you should actually just, at your age, at 89, people should come to you. You should be where they come to for advice, for resolution of conflict. Not the one causing conflict. Professor Walesho Inka, you shouldn't be causing conflict in this country at your age. If, let's even go by what you have caused in this country. The cultism that you, that you started in Nigeria... Is still going there, causing problem. Young boys are are are, are, are still killing themselves. Or should we talk about when you when you went to use uh, uh, um, gun to waylay them at at at, at a radio station? Oh, because you are not satisfied with the government, and it is you now that is coming out to call some people different names, Esa. You don't have a future in this country. We have a future in this country. You are 89. You have lived your time. The country is in, is in disarray. Businesses are shutting down. Over 700 businesses gone. People are hungry. Inflation is over the roof. Two days ago, the, the, the central bank still raised uh, uh, um, uh, uh, credit uh, uh, to, 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 to two point something to twenty uh, six point something percent. And all you care about, not to even talk of exchange rates, but all you care about is is Peter will be not contesting in twenty twenty seven. Esa, Esa. 
e ma da nigeria do do be se baje ilo e lo sin mi let us say the truth olose yin ka is no be to ti na achebe only this fall apart covered the whole book um uh olose yin ka wrote only this this fall apart uh, yeah, uh, the, 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 the legacies of uh, uh, Wale Shoenka is in play at this point in time. Looking at this conversation he had and he spoke against the obedient family, people are just saying that uh, he is rubbing his legacies in the mud. And there's another conversation about uh, his achievements has been brought to question that Chino Achebe is a better, a better. Uh, writer than well, let's, let's get your, your, your take on this. Um, good morning, thanks for having me. I'm the spokesman of the obedience and um, in this vicinity. But the problem is that um, when we attacked with our I was very, very angry and leave it. You can't, you, you can, I cannot be alive and somebody will insult with our I don't take that. But let me first go to the issue of um, Chino Achebe and Wale Shoenka. Speaking, I've, I've been known to speak objective, I fear nobody. John Ava said, is my, my watch word. Jesus says that um, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Wale Shoenka and um, Tino Achebe are our own Ronaldo and Messi. If you watch football, two great men that in comparing them, they will always decide to put the two sides. You understand? Let me give you an example. Um, um, Wale Shoenka's book is always um, it's complex. Its use of English can be so complex and everything. Chino Achebe is wow. Respected. His book is very easy to comprehend. They have wrote books. Wale Shoenka won um, this Nobel Award Award. Chino Achebe's book has been interpreted in different languages all over the world. So these this men are men that ordinarily people will celebrate, will celebrate them. You see, sometimes, sometimes to start comparing people, I'm not good at that. I tell you they are good in their work. I, don't, I mean, in their work, if they are good, I will always, for example, I don't compare another one, I can't. I will always, what I do is to appreciate them. And to tell you the fact that these both of them, they both belong to the country, they have good names, and everything. But where the problem lies now is now they are legacy. You see, you know, I think they died well. That's the difference. I am afraid, as a Obama, as a dead man like me, because you can't a dead man like me, that his legacy may not be good. I think it died well, it was not controversial. Instead, Wale Shoenka won the Nobel Laureate. That's a prestigious award. Yes, I said. No, I said Wale Shoenka won the Nobel Laureate award. Very good. You know, Achebe's book has been has been interpreted in different languages all over the world. That record is unbreakable too. That record for the man is all right. Wale Shoenka won the Nobel Laureate award. Respected. Achebe's book has been has been has been um uh, the 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 the, 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 the they brought it into different languages all over the all over the world. Different languages. Come research about. So I come here, I do my research. So so when you say, "Oh, listen, you can't make a language." God bless him. You look at you, and say, "Me, it's book that I mean, it's printed." I'm telling things all apart. Things all apart. The book is like it's like one of the best books. I'm telling you, that book is it's legendary. That book is 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 a book that when you read, it is still now what happened. It's still happening now. So why you compare them? You know, some people, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't suspect them. You must have, I love them. These are national heroes, but I'm talking about the legacy. You know, they died well. No controversy. Is Wale Shoenka now, is, 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 aging, is he aging well? For now, the answer is no. He's now dabbling in politics. Not just dabbling, but even against good people. And someone that stood for the ego during the civil war is now seen as a man that 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 may be that may be tribalistic. People are asking me now, is only to get a tribalistic man to answer that is very hard because here he stood for the ego during the civil war. He even said that that is surprised that the ego consciousness, the ego uh, Biafra consciousness, just begin to awake. And I told people when I said that um, Biafra is a spirit that cannot die. Ego always can see it. And I tell you that, that when Namikano was speaking in the court, it was not Namikano that was speaking. It was the spirit of. It was the spirit of. Dim. He came back there with. Dim. All the way go to that entered into Kanu. And the that Kanu was speaking boldly. So I was supposed to when Namikano said it. You can see that he loves the ego. But again, when it comes to politics, it seems to be against them. Listen. 
Uh, uh, um, um, good luck, Ebele Aziki Wajinata. He was against him. He protested against him on Twitter. And he did everything against him. I'm coming. Look at the amount of the price. So it was 65 naira. You know that increase? No. You move first subsidy. Then our economy was stable. It was number one in Africa. You know that first subsidy. And our fair was 45 naira. They went to Jota. Pastors, him, they let the protest. I did not go. And I'm saying it to God. I've only stood at the right side of history. I did not go. So they went there, they protested, and Jota removed the price. Now you look at the price of, 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 of fair now. But he's not seen anything. He came to an attacking Jonathan. He called his wife Motemos. He called Jonathan himself in Nebuchadnezzar. But he wanted to call Buhari. And I can't compare Buhari to Jonathan. Now he's attacking our leader, Peter Obi. And I've been saying that I cannot be alive. What about you? We attacking Peter Obi? Now, 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 you're attacking Peter Obi. But you have left the man that is governing the country. And the country is going, he's, 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 he's heading comatose. He's heading nowhere. So it seems that in his hand, people should talk to him. But it should stop the legacy. Tino Akebe has died well, he sold people like him till today. We say Tino Akebe now, you cannot say any bad thing about him. Other than his books and his works. You now, if, if, if they speak against you, you are going to talk about your book, your work, and your political interest. That's one of the things that has been said. I'm telling you, because, because now, you bought courtism, even though it was in good effect, according to them. Like, you bought courtism, the courtism there was, was to fight against them, was to fight against authorities. But look at what has related into. And again, there was a time that, 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 that he went on, on, on her, on the radio, to attack it. We saw these things. Do you understand? So this is the problem. Now, guard your legacy. But you are having this, you are just tempting yourself. You are not going old. I tell people, I said, so we think election we expose many people. I said this. Now, look at, look at the pastor that are always, uh, is always, it's all you are today. Yeah, you look at him too. That means you have been exposed. I pity for him. Let people tell him the truth. Baba, this is not time for politics. Baba, only politics. Let your work sit for you. And everything that you have done. Like, I'm your creator in good faith. Stop attacking the obedience. Attack the government. They are the problem why whites are not working in this country. Not with the obedience. You know what I'm saying? He's a, uh, a strong guy, a Yoruba leader. No, when we look at age, um, you value that in what context? When you look at age, you can say, as another man, you again, like, who are even you value that now? But it seems, that's why I said that um, when people are saying, oh, the ghost want to go, I said, the ghost can go, the feel that they can go, but the ghost cannot go anywhere now because our, our leadership culture is as full of Sometimes, sometimes, I'm even a trade of the future for your bad people. So, 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 so if, if we say, you guys are your bad leader, look at what he's saying. You leave a man that employed talks and everything. To, to tackle a man that have only on, most online people and, and, and educated people. You leave a man who says, from consumer to production. And I'm back a man who said, it is my turn. You leave a man who says, I will, I will empower the people first. After empowering them, then what am I going to do? I will not start taxing them. The man who says, I will reduce the participation of the people and increase the tax net. So, so you understand? So, so these so these people are they so 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 the one that is, is, is very flawed. The kind that you have nowadays, I'm not part of I'm not myself and I'm not part of your body this time. No. Go back to history, yes. But now look at look at look at what the look at what they are beginning they, they are turning into. Everywhere, almost everybody is now becoming I don't become agree, I agree, I agree. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, everyone. So, Bassan just said, in 1979 election, that the best candidate may not win the election. Or Bassan said it. In 1979 election, when, when 1979 election, when he, when he was head of state, the then military government of Nigeria, when they were conducting the election, he said, the best candidate may not won the election, which is what happened. Now, the best candidate, the best writer may not have win any prize because winning the prize is not by mass making, but it's by chance happen to them all. Time and chance happen to them all. If you come to writing up of books or literature, you know that, let us say the truth, 
Olosho Yinka is nowhere to Chino Achebe. Only things fall apart. Covered the whole book. Um, uh, 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 Olosho Yinka wrote. Only things, things fall apart. After things fall apart, you will see the center cannot be able to hold. Things fall apart and the center can no longer hold. These are two books. After that, there was a country. There was a country. The last book he wrote before his death. And this, this one like that, this one apart, have translated to 64 languages in the world. 64 languages. We have this one apart translated so those people can read it in their own dialects, in their own language, in their own handwriting. But how many books have Polosho Ika wrote that were translated even to our local languages, vernacular? He, he, he writes Yoruba, Yoruba literature. Yoruba literature is only for Yoruba. I am not a Yoruba man, although I'm in Yoruba land. Although I cannot speak Yoruba, I cannot read Yoruba. How many people understand that literature? If you want to take us literature writing, you mentioned of uh, People like them, you have to compile senior achieve. You understand what I'm saying? You mentioned people like who wrote Omenoto. You take them to, 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 to compile senior achieve. As of today. Both the living and the dead. I haven't seen anybody who have break the record of Chino Achebe in writing. And nobody has broken the record of Polosho Inka. Polosho Inka, if you watch, most of the book he writes is poem. Most of the book is poem. Playwright. Playwright. Uh, uh, the gods are not to blame. Uh, Akim, uh, 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 Akim, the drama boy. Is able to go to, 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 to compile. Only people. Uh, the, the, that was a nation. Can you tell you to, to compare? That, that was a nation. But everybody is talented to his own field. China Achebe is talented to his own field. And Walosha Inka is talented to his own field. Although all of them are writers, but in different, different class. You cannot take the class of China Achebe to compare the class of Sho Inka, or take the class of Sho Inka to compare the class of China Achebe. All of them are running the rest. But everybody on his own track. That's the only thing there. If you come to a poem, or good. Polosheik is good. If you come to write novel or giving insight of ancient thing how it happened, Tina Chebe is good, best also. So, so guys, the legacies the, and the achievements of Wole Shoinka have been called to questioning after he brought himself out. Nigerians have even gone further to compare him with, you know, the late Chino Achebe. Many people are giving their opinion between these two top writers. I just want you to take your time and listen to this argument on Wole Shoinka versus Chino Achebe. Just because Wole Shoinka threw himself on the mud and now Nigerians are really dragging him. He must be regretting his actions. No matter how he tried to, you know, downplay the achievements of the obedience, Nigerians know that, you know, obedience have been the ones calling these our politicians to politicians to question it. They've been the one keeping them on their toes, checkmating their excesses. Because as it stands, we don't even have an, any opposition. It's only Peter Obi as a person and the obedient family that are the opposition that we have today in Nigeria. And you can see that this was just a strategy to silence the obedient. But I tell you, Wole Shoinka took the wrong step and you can see how badly it has backfired on him. So guys, we all know that Wole Shoinka went too far to start criticizing Peter Obi. And I tell you, that has not ended well with him. He must be regretting his actions. No matter how he tried to, you know, downplay the achievements of the obedience, Nigerians know that, you know, obedience have been the ones 
calling these our politicians to politicians to question it. They've been the one keeping them on their toes, checkmating their excesses. Because as it stands, we don't even have an, any opposition. It's only Peter Obi as a person and the obedient family that are the opposition that we have today in Nigeria. And you can see that this was just a strategy to silence the obedient. But I tell you, Wale Shoinka took the wrong step and you can see how badly it has backfired on him.